Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Sammy the Prince, and right now you're on Tylertainment.com. Keep it uh. You ready? Well, I hope so, cause I'm hotter than the sun It's the prince what you respect, aka the chosen one You hella hatin', but it's cool, you only helpin' me get better Bagging all these jellies while I'm fucking all this shit I do this shit so effortless, it's crazy What's good? It's your boy, man, the Prince Sammy, man. At the alter ego for the true. Um, really, the concept is like a preppy me and then the bad boy me. Holiday season. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Excuse my R&B, baby. Yeah. I feel like swagging out a little bit. Sammy, baby. With my little brother Sammy. Hi, this is Amanda Sam for Talentainment.com, and we're here with R&B singer yeah. Sammy. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm all right. All right. Now, I know you've been doing this for a very long time. You started off when you were a child, and I know your mom was involved with music as well. Now, is this always what you wanted to do, or, or um, was there something else you were interested in well, as well? Yeah, I think we all guys think we're going to go to the NBA or NFL one day. Mm -hmm. But uh, as y'all can see, I'm a little slim, and I'm not that tall. So uh, at the age of eight, though, I decided that this was something I wanted to pursue professionally. Um, music has always been my passion. My mother sings, my sister. Uh, we all sung in the church, so uh, it was just something that kind of came easy for me. And once I really grew my passion for it, and I realized I could touch people through my music, it was something I started to take seriously. Mm -hmm. All right, now I know you were involved with a lot of power players when you were young, Dallas Austin, Darby right. Fair, what now? Who would you say you had the best experience working with? And not necessarily even the best experience. What are some experiences that you know you took from that? How was that? Man, just really, you know. I gotta say, Dallas Austin, just working with him um, at such a young age, you know what I'm saying? He gave me my biggest record still in my career, which was I like it. Uh, he was the first one to actually look at me and see me as a star. You know, he seen me in like, Apollo and he felt like that kid had a gift, you know what I'm saying? So I'm forever grateful for that, first and foremost. And then he's worked with TLC, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Pink. The list goes on and on and on, Monica. So um, to just be a part of, of his resume, you know what I'm saying, yeah. of the things that he's accomplished, just humbling and I'm glad I got a chance to really work for Okay, now I'm a Florida girl myself. Now, why Atlanta over Miami? Well, you know, I was raised in Miami. Um, I actually moved from Miami to Fort Lauderdale for some years in middle school, then I went to high school in Orlando. Um, this is what music is for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of rap in uh, Miami. It's not really hard to be there. So, you know, I feel like Atlanta is that, that, that happy meeting. You know what I'm saying? And then I like the pace, it's not too slow. It's not too fast, beautiful people, a lot of opportunities for us to do, when I say us, people of color, to come here and achieve their goals. So Atlanta's kind of like a perfect place for me. You ever think about blazing a trail down there? Yeah, you know, you know, like, I'm always, I'm, I'm a Florida boy at heart, you know what I'm saying? Florida is who I am, you know what I'm saying? The drive and everything that I've become is because of where I was raised at. So, you know, I never forget Miami, they're always a part of my life. And, you know, I'm trying to make a few meals so I can get a condo on the beach there, keep my crib here. And, somewhere else too. All right, now you have a lot of songs about like love and girls, relationships, you right. come with me, you should be my girl. Right. Now I'm just wondering who kisses Sammy through the phone? serious thing if I do she has to be really understanding of my, my schedule and my lifestyle so that's kind of hard to come by she was taking it one day at a time but you know a new day you know what I'm saying and just enjoying life taking it day by day and not really looking for a relationship but if it happens now you're on your third album yeah, coming to Vegas yeah okay yeah, now all right now if you could describe its sound and its feel in three words how would you describe it uh well first word I want people to kind of say when they hear my record is passionate you know what I'm saying? I think I, I, every, every song that I wrote was a real life experience. And I really went through an you know, encounter with a woman that I had, a relationship that I was with, with, or somebody that was next to me and I learned from their experience. Um, so passion, um, different. When I say different, it's different because I'm 22 now, so it's different things that I can talk about. I couldn't talk about, of course, when I was 12. I couldn't talk about when I was 18. So was the lyrical content is a little more mature. And then after that, man, my vocal ability was you know, crazy or something. You know what I'm saying? I pride myself on it's being a vocalist. So I wanted to make sure I sounded just right every song in and out. Because I'm a hard out of time. Every, every, every time I'm in the group, I kind of attack it like it was my last year. Okay, now are there any additional projects that you're working on outside of that? Well, you know, we just did uh, my first mixtape, which was like a lot of fun for me because it's kind of out of my element. It's not just R&B, it's 
mix hip hop mix and taking songs and flipping them and making them your own and rapping a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just dropped that, had a hundred thousand downloads in two days, so I want to say everybody uh, that got it, I appreciate it. Um, doing some features, so I did a record with Chingy, did a record with Lloyd, doing another record with Trey, you know what I'm saying? Just getting out there. You know, I think the kind of era where you need to do as much as you know as possible. The fans are going to get it anyway, so why not put together a project that's specifically for them, free from the attitude. Um, currently working on an EP, I want to drop like an eight song EP before my album Coming of Age comes out, maybe around December the holiday, and let the fans hear exactly what that record is going to be. I know you took a long break to, you know, go to high school and everything. Do you ever either regret taking that break? Oh, or? definitely not. That was the best four years of my life, still. You know what I'm saying? I was I was blessed to have success at the age 12 through 14, to travel the world, go overseas, and been to Hawaii, Canada, and all this crazy stuff, and then actually have four years of normalcy for where I went to school every day, played basketball, met a lot of beautiful friends that we still you know, have friendship that lasts to this day. Um, homecoming King, went to prom. So I got to do a lot of things that artists my age missed out on. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what makes me so different from most other artists. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just used to the start of like, the spotlight. That's all they know. Me, I know what it's like to be on top of the world, and I know what it's like to be an everyday average dude. You know what I'm saying? And that's what keeps me humble. And I think that's what makes people relate to me a little more. And I'm just like them. The person that's watching this, I'm just like you. Now, Tallahassee.com it aims to build a bridge between like larger fashion and entertainment metropolises in Tallahassee, and we're trying to give um, the people of Tallahassee an arena to you know break into the industry. So, if you have any advice for any aspiring singers out there, what would you tell them? Man, first and foremost, keep God first and last. I always say that because it's a lot of obstacles and barricades that you have to face in this industry. Lord knows, I know. Um, but he'll always bring you through it, you know what I mean? After that, I would say keep your family close to you because you're going to get a lot of people that latch on to you strictly because of who you are and the things that you have and the money that you have. So, um, and after that, just don't let them want to tell you no, you know? I got people every day telling me I can't do this. And my, my goal every day is to prove them wrong, you know what I mean? I can either break and fold or I can just prove them wrong by winning and that's what I'm doing. So, you got those three things with you, I think you'll be fine. Holiday yeah. season. Baby. All right. It's All right. a wrap, All ladies right. and gentlemen. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Let's close the curtain. Swag and B is a wrap. It's done. It's finito. It's finished. Shouts out to DJ Holiday, man. My brother. Hit him up on his Twitter at DJ Holiday. Hit me up at Prince Sammy on my Twitter. Star Camp Street Love is the movement. What up, Jasper? What up, Big Reese? You know what I'm saying? I want to thank everybody for making this possible.